I'm interior designer Julie Fergus and in this video design tip I am going to talk briefly about window treatments and I'm using an example here behind me of a simple drapery panel with a duet honeycomb shade for light control, insulation, and privacy and I'm using this example because it's very simple and it has two panels which are stationary they do not close to uh, cover the window they're merely here just as a decoration to flank the window. And a great tip for this one is that I used one width of fabric, one you know, bolt, one width, which is 54 inches, cut it in half, did a flat panel on the top so that it doesn't have pleating, it keeps the, the full width of each side. And it's an inexpensive way to get a custom treatment with using a fabric of your choice without um, having too much fabric that you have to buy or maybe exceeding your budget. So if you can do one width per window and you have three yards in length, you can do two stationary panels for a very common size window, which is what this is, about 30 by 54. So we hung the rod above the molding and that's always key to elongate, um, make the window appear taller and don't mount the hardware on the window trim because that will make the window looks shorter. So mount it above and we have the stationary panels each side and just coming to the inside of the molding so that it keeps the glass as open as possible. And we install the duet honeycomb with in cordless so that you can cover the glass for insulation, from heat, from sun, for privacy. And the light filtering is nice because it still lets some soft light in without the glare and the heat and the cold. So it doesn't room darken, which is great for living spaces. Room darkening is good for bedrooms, not necessarily for main spaces. So the cordless is a great option because you just lift and lower just by reaching it and pulling it down. No cords to deal with. And when it's up, it's virtually um, almost invisible really. The focus is on the drapery panel. So consider combining your treatments, drapery for decoration, a shade in the center for light control, privacy, and insulation. And that's the tip for today, and I'll have a blog about this with a link below. Thank you for watching.